Just like the original EDFC, damping force adjustment dials have to be removed from the shock absorbers in order to install motors for EDFC series. This video explains how. For waterproofing, please refer to the separate how-to video. First, detach the damping force adjustment dial and the click from the shock absorber. They are mounted at the top of the shock absorber or at the bottom for inverted monotube type dampers. For EDFC Active and EDFC Active Pro, remove the black hex bolt from the inside shaft. This step is not necessary for EDFC2 because the black hex bolt is used as is. Replace the hex bolt with the gold one included in EDFC Active or EDFC Active Pro kits. This gold hex bolt is durable enough to withstand the constant damping force adjustment that EDFC Active and EDFC Active Pro make. Apply the included grease to inside of the shaft, the hex bolt threads, and the hex bolt hole. Insert the gold hex bolt until the top surface is flush with the shaft top. Apply thread locker to the outer threads of the shaft. Fit the hexagon tip of the motor shaft into the hex bolt. Use a flathead screwdriver to turn the motor shaft clockwise for three full rotations. Gently screw the motor until it stops. Use a flathead screwdriver to turn the motor shaft clockwise for about two more rotations. Do not force the motor to turn further when there is a sense of resistance. Doing so will damage the motor. Using a flathead screwdriver, confirm that the motor shaft turns fully both clockwise and counterclockwise. Do not force the motor shaft to turn either direction if there is some resistance, as doing so can cause damage to the motor. In such case, remove the motor and redo the installation from the beginning. In some cases with the strut type front shock absorber with pillow ball upper mount, motors for EDFC series might keep turning in one direction while the car is running. When this happens, the motor cable might get tangled up around the piston shaft and might get broken or damaged. This strut kit prevents such tangles. Use of this kit is optional. Please consult with Tane Technical Support or any Tane distributors and dealers for further details. Detach the pillow ball upper mount and pillow collar.
Attach the larger stopper to the screw holes of the pillow ball case on the back of the pillow ball mount. Place the smaller stopper on top of the upper spring seat. Align the protruding tip of the stopper with one of the side slots on the upper spring seat. Insert the collar included in the strut kit. The side with smaller diameter should be facing upward. Place the smaller stopper in between the two ends of the larger stopper and install the pillow ball upper mount. Tighten the pillow nut at the specified torque and confirm the stopper works properly. Tang.